Okay, guys, so the Bears are out of the playoffs. There's nothing we can do. We can boo and cry as much as we want that the Packers beat the Bears. Was it fair? No. Were there bad calls? Yes. But automatically, the Bears did not do the best to win the game. So they're out of the playoffs. Strangely enough, the Chiefs and the Bears game will still be on tonight on uh, NBC Football for the Sunday night game. The interesting part is, yes, I'm wearing a California shirt with a Chicago Bears grassroots California Bears hat. Um, so why am I wearing red? We're wearing red because then the Bears can beat the, beat the Packers. I did not wear green last week. I should have done that. Maybe that would have worked, right? So now I'm wearing a red shirt. I do have a Chiefs hat. Why do I have a Chiefs hat? That's because I found... An ex-Chiefs player signed a hat, saw it at Goodwill, for a buck. You can't go wrong with that. I'm not a Chiefs fan, but I'm a football fan, and to have something signed by a player or an ex-player is kind of cool. So, yes, I'm going to wear the hat and make sure the Chiefs lose the best I can as a fan. So, this is the game that we measure Mitchell Trubisky versus the Chiefs, as well as... My homes and see how is Trubisky better than Holmes. If you put it together, they're about the same. So what is my game prediction? Now, my game prediction would be the Bears are going to lose because they don't have all the players that they have. And the Chiefs are a little bit better than the Bears. But the more I thought about it, the Bears are playing with pride. And I think the Bears are going to win this game. And they're going to win by like 21 to 17. That's my game prediction. So the Bears are going to win. The second thing is very, very, very sad, stupid news. I live to this town to the south of the hometown where um, McKillio Mack is from. He's from Fort Pierce. I live in Port St. Lucie. In fact, Khalil Mack's uh, mother was my teacher back in middle school. Back in the day, yes, I did meet. Khalil Mack as a toddler. Can you believe that? Not little that I know. He'd be a Bears player. You know, the strange part is this. The Bears um, are pretty good. Khalil Mack is world-renowned world in the Football League and throughout the United States. Everyone knows who he is. The sad part is he donated out of his foundation $80,000 to his local Walmart to pay off layoffs. Uh, so then people don't have to pay the layaways, not layoffs, but layaways. So that's what happened. Well, guess what? Managers and players, excuse me, manager and employees of Walmart, of that local Walmart, Fort Pierce, off of Okotribu Road, stole uh, 20000 plus of the foundation money that Cleo Max Foundation gave to pay layaways. Now, a bunch of People got fired. I won't be surprised. People are going to be charged. Not with grand theft, but death. It's not so good. Uh, so it's kind of sad to see that, right? So, you know, it's sad that people get desperate on the holidays and have this happen. So unfortunately, this does happen. And, you know, uh, the sad part is the Bears, um, they're going to win and lose games. They'll win playoff Super Bowls 100 years from now. But the sad part, of what happens now, is now besides some, a positive story happening with this with Cleo Mack helping others that need help, is that people that work at the store stole it. Now, I'm not against Walmart or anything. In fact, I have family members who work at Walmart. There's nothing wrong with the store. It's the people themselves that make bad decisions. So that's a sad thing. I will put a link there below, and I will put the comparison for this year versus with uh, Mitchell Trubisky versus um, Mahomes. Let's see how it goes. I do have another channel. It's called Brandon the Archivist. I was able to get a pair of Easy's. I'll put the link before below this one so you can like that video too. I know there are some fans there that um, collect shoes and, and stuff like that. So I'll let you know how it fits at eight and a half. So we'll see if not. I got to return and get a nine. So uh, it is what it is, right? Happy holidays from everybody from Florida to where you guys are at. Happy Bears holiday. I'm sorry the Bears didn't make the playoffs this year. There's always next year. 
Just be grateful what you are and who you are. Take care now. And please like and subscribe to my channel. And bear down!